If you're a bivocational pastor, then this special Flash episode is just for you. I'm Pete Mitchell, and in between our regular Church Planner podcast episodes, I'll be bringing you insight and ideas to help our bivo pastors have an easier and more profitable go at it. If you'd like more info on the training program specifically for bivocational pastors, you can check it out at missionbybusiness.com. I just drove 357 miles from Long Beach, California to Tempe, Arizona because I want to make a deal. And I want to make a deal with a guy by the name of Joe Polish. Joe Polish is one of the most connected men in the world. Um, Certainly one of the most connected men in business. I mean, we're talking everybody from politicians to uh, A-list celebrities to uh, huge people uh, in every industry. Pretty much everybody knows Joe Polish. And he runs a little something called Genius Network. Uh, I've mentioned it before. It's a $25,000 a year uh, mastermind group. And I've been a part of that group for a while. And I did a, a, a talk, my, my very first event, I did what's called a 10-minute talk. And these 10-minute talks are designed so that um, you're supposed to give an idea in 10 minutes that's helped you generate $250,000 in your business. So I did this talk and I basically laid out an entire marketing plan and I personalized it to Joe and his business, his company, because it's his group, right? He's there, he's watching, he loves it, flips out over it. They don't implement the plan and it keeps bugging him. Every time I see him, he's like, man, I'm really upset that we haven't implemented that plan. I mean, you literally did everything for us. All we got to do is implement it. So at the last meeting, that's what he mentions to me, right? And so the staff's like, yeah, we really want to get together with you. Almost every time I go, uh, they've got a new staff member. They're like, yeah, I watched your 10 minute talk. Uh, Joe's made everyone watch your 10 minute talk. So I said, here, here's the deal. Let me drive out there and show you guys how to do everything. And they go, that'd be great if you do that. So I get in my car yesterday, drive 357 miles, takes me about five and a half hours to get here to Phoenix. So I can be here in time for a meeting this morning at 930 with his staff, not even with him. Now, why would you do that? Because I know that givers gain. And so I didn't come here to sell them on anything. I didn't come here to do anything other than let me help you guys get your end result. They want to get more clients like every business wants to get more client. I have a system and a platform and everything else that helps people do that. So I said, hey, let me uh, let me do this for you. And so I got to do that. I got to spend two hours with his staff. Joe shows up about, uh, you know, right at, right at the end, we'd literally just finished talking. And so I got to talk with Joe and he's like, look, I I can't believe everything you're doing. I'd love to do a joint venture with you. You got to understand that for me, that could literally be worth seven to eight figures to do a joint venture with this guy. And I got him saying he wants to do a joint venture with me because of the fact that I'm willing to spend the time, spend the money come out here and help his staff, that's huge. That's huge. Now, why do I bring this up for you, bivocational pastor? Because there are deals that you can be making. There are people who you could be doing a great joint venture uh, deal with, an opportunity with. And you gotta find whatever edge it is to get in there and help them. You see, I didn't go there and say, hey, look, I'm gonna help your guys Uh, uh, implement all this stuff, but here's what I want from you. I didn't say any of that. I didn't even talk to Joe. I talked to his staff. I'm like, let me come out there and help you guys. Because I know how important that is to Joe, that, that his staff is treated with respect. And so someone who's willing to literally drive out to his office from Southern California is gonna have a huge impact on him. At least that's what I was hoping, and it did. I mean, to the point where he's like, look, I want to do a joint venture with you. I want to get you on the I Love Marketing podcast. I also want to get this stuff implemented because I want to be able to talk on the podcast how we implemented your strategy and the results that we got. What about you? Let's say you're a painter or a roofer or, you know, a contractor. Who else has your ideal client? 
How can you help that person get more business, have a, a, a better strategy, or let's say you're a painter, can you, you know, hey, let me help you with this. I see, you know, this building over here needs to be redone, or this room over here is not looking too good. Let me do this for you. Can you use that to pivot into a great relationship with someone who's out of your league? Joe Polish, clearly out of my league. He is, like I said, the most connected man. In fact, there's a documentary called, I think it's Connection or Connected, which is all about Joe Polish. I mean, that's literally how connected he is that they came out with a, uh, a documentary about him. And I'm, I'm sitting here looking at this going, okay, this was one of the smartest moves I made driving all the way out here. So I'm giving that to you as an idea. Look for those kind of connections. How can you help support someone? The way out here, man. Uh, I decided, hey, you know what? I'm going to call Caesar Kalinowski. Caesar and I talked for over an hour, and I was giving him some great ideas, and he gave me some great ideas. In fact, he goes, hey, what if we did this together? And he came to me with a joint venture idea. I wasn't calling him to create a joint venture. I was just like, you know what? I'm going to call him. I want to see how I can help him. And seeing how I could help him, that kind of stuff happens. So I want you to be thinking about it, that in your business. Now, I got some great news. If you're a bivocational pastor, if you've been listening to this on the podcast or watching this on uh, the Bivo uh, Pastor and Church Planner uh, Facebook page, you know that I've got a training where I teach bivocational pastors how to do what I do. Now, if you've heard this before, you got to listen to this. This is brand new. So last night, after I came into Phoenix, I met with a buddy of mine, uh, Martin Howie, and he and I had dinner. And we started strategizing ideas because that's what we do when we get together. We're you know looking at a, a business situation or an opportunity. You know, how can we maximize this? How can we improve this? And he helped me come up with a great idea. I'm redoing the entire uh, uh, training that I do for uh, bivocational pastors. Um, I shouldn't say I'm redoing it. I'm starting a new training because I'm not, I'm not taking away any of the old stuff. And that stuff is, uh, I mean, it's made me millions of dollars. It's made our bivocational pastors, uh, I would assume millions of dollars by this point. Um, but here's, here's what I'm getting at. I'm going to be putting this together. It's going to go on the uh, mission by business.com webpage. If you've watched that presentation before, uh, you're going to want to watch the new one. I think it's going to be a no brainer. I mean, what we put together, price point, everything, literally, I'm looking at this thing going, this is a no brainer. If someone doesn't do this, there's a problem up here. If they've got, you know, a, a bivocational bone in their body, because it's not going to be price is the issue. It's not going to be, um, uh, content. It's not going to be strategy. Like we put together, I think the most brilliant plan ever. And I'm going to be bringing that to you guys uh, probably by Wednesday of next week. I think this podcast is going to air on our podcast. What is today? Wednesday. So it'll probably air tomorrow. Um, so probably by, actually, I might get it done uh, over the weekend now that I think about it. So I'll let you guys know when it's out. If you want, what I would encourage you to do is watch the current training I've got up at missionbybusiness.com. Watch that one right now because uh, you'll be able to compare the two and you'll see it. You'll understand why this other one I think is going to be the right choice for a lot of people. Uh, we still have the, the, the full blown one. That's not going away. I mean, that's literally the one that A. David and Dan Sams and Tyrone Peterson and uh, Aaron Bump, who just got a C level job. He's like chief marketing officer for some huge industrial company. He used all that training to get that while they're still letting him keep his current clients. I mean, it's just going like crazy. That program is still there, still going. Watch that. You might want to join that. When you watch the new training, I'll let you all know when the new training comes out. You're going to go, okay, I got to do this. I mean, if you're on the fence, you're going to be thinking, I have got to do this. This is the one for me. So go there right now, missionbybusiness.com. Check it out. And I'll let you know when that new training is up on the site. So that way you can go back and watch the new training as well. All right, guys. Talk to you soon.